Hey everyone, welcome back to TV5 News at 9. We have something really exciting for you that's happening this weekend. And uh, we are actually at the Saints Snowmobile Club in St. Charles. I have Joshua Bars with me, the president. Uh, we have racing to our racing with the Saints this Saturday. Lots of preparation for you guys. How is it? How, how are you guys feeling? What can people expect when they come this weekend? Uh, we're feeling great. Um, big thank you, uh, Bila Excavating, on helping get the track ready and our Icemen. They work tirelessly out there. Huge thank you to all our local sponsors that make this happen. It takes a whole community to make an event like this happen. The tracks never looked better. Um, we got over 100 racers already pre-registered. Um, we got teams coming from all over the U.S. this year. It's really cool. They're all vintage sleds, so it's very nostalgic, and it's kind of like NASCAR on ice. I love the way that you describe it. NASCAR on ice, I, I mean, just that alone would make me want to come and see this. Uh, so, you know, you have a country music artist coming. Uh, what's his, It's Alex Schofield, right? Performing. He's a St. Charles native. And, you know, what does it mean to you to have, you know, all these vendors and, and this uh, performing artist? Uh, well, we're very excited to have uh, Alex Schofield out here. Uh, he recently just signed a music deal in Nashville, Tennessee, so we're very proud of him as well. And uh, when he called me up and said he wanted to volunteer to be in our tent, it meant the world to us because uh, it's great seeing people remember their hometown roots. Absolutely. Now, I know we have a racer here with us uh, today. So, Wyatt, why don't you come on over here? Um, he actually got first place in a race last weekend, so congratulations on that. Uh, so, how are you preparing for racing with the Saints for this Saturday? I'm um, just trying to get everything ready, just checking the sled over, making sure, you know, all the nuts and bolts are tight and just making sure it's good to go and testing here and there to try to just make sure it's, it's ready. Um, the win last weekend, we couldn't get a whole shot, so we're trying to work on that this weekend to see if we can get it to launch. But, uh, yeah, All I right. think we're ready. So That's good to hear. We are ready. Wyatt, how long have you been racing? Uh, this will be my fifth year racing, so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a cool experience. It's, it's a lot of fun. All right. I love it. Well, good luck this Thank weekend you. and have fun. Of course, that's yeah. a big part of it, right? That's the main reason we do it. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Thank you, Wyatt. Thank Josh, you. I'll have you back over here. So this is a tradition to the community. You know, uh, did COVID play a part at all and, and any cancellations? And what does it mean for it to be back this year? There's no doubt that uh, COVID has been just tough on the whole community and everyone in general in the state of Michigan, the United States for that matter. Um, yeah, it definitely uh, hurt us a little bit in uh, the past years here, and we had some uh, mishaps with the weather, so it's just so nice to be able to have things getting a little bit back to normal around here and have this race. I mean, the purpose of uh, what we do out here is to always give back to the community. We like giving back to youth academics, youth sports, uh, you know, local high schools around here, uh, especially our first responders. You know, the Saints has always been known that if somebody's in their time of need, we want to help them heal, call us, we'll help if we can. And uh, it's just great, great community events uh, for the whole community. I love that you guys give back to the community because, you know, they make something like this happen too. And so, you know, when people come out this weekend, really, you know, what should they know before coming out? Obviously, dress warm. It's cold out here. Know that this is a family event. Um, it goes on from 11 o'clock till about 7.30. Um, you know, you can bring your kids out, bring your family out, bundle them up. We have heated tents and heated areas, so there's places to get warm. Uh, there's lots of great food vendors out here. There's going to be all kinds of yummy food to eat. There's lots of different clubs and organizations here uh, giving away things and uh, raffles going on. It's just a really good time. All right, sounds good. You know what? I think before we go, we got to rev one of these up, right? Just to get people. Can we rev one of these up? Okay, well, All right, we're going to get this going. And uh, just so you guys know, there is pre-registration um, or registration day of. And then also it's about uh, $10 admission. 12 and under are free. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's hear the sights and sounds of Racing with the Saints. That's this weekend. Go ahead. You want to say something? One very important thing, uh, Wyatt Wilkins here is uh, a local St. Charles High School student. We asked his mom and dad permission to have him here today. Thanks, mom and dad. Yeah. But very proud of him and very proud to have one of our local Bulldogs here today. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, Wyatt. So, does it uh, take a lot of preparation to get this going? Ah, uh, just throw some gas in the carbs and hope she fires. All right, let's do it. <laughs> That is beautiful, you guys. All right. So, of course, you can find more information by going to the hot link section on WNEM.com.